you've come to Toronto for your holiday. Great choice. It's a fantastic city. There's so much to see and do. It really is amazing. But I can guarantee you, while you're here, you're going to want to do a day trip. In fact, this day trip is almost obligatory. You're going to go to see the iconic Niagara Falls. There are loads of coach companies that do day trips and it's the, the most stress-free way of, of seeing the falls. It's fantastic. But the only problem is, is if you're a photographer, it's not going to work. It's the middle of summer right now. So that means the sun rises at about 5.45 in the morning and sets at about nine o'clock in the evening. So the problem here is your coach driver is actually still in bed when you need to be there for that early morning light. And likewise in the evening, he's already home, done for the day, he's got his feet up, he's doing what Canadian coach drivers do of an evening, watching hockey. So that's a problem. The answer is to rent a car and give yourself more freedom and flexibility. The sun is going to be coming up in about 15-20 minutes. I think it's about 5.40 now, 5.30, somewhere like that. Another good thing about getting here early is you get a place to park. Now parking is going to cost you about $30 for the day and you do need to get here pretty early to get a spot, I think. Here we go, here's the falls. Lots of mist. When the sun came up, I was a little bit further down by Horseshoe Falls, which is the largest of the falls on the Canadian side. Right now, I'm standing opposite, I think it's called Bridal Veil Falls, which is on the American side, and this is the smaller of the falls. The problem that I'm having here is finding a good composition because there's so much water coming off of the falls, it's creating this mist and the mist is just obliterating all the views. And the other problem is the wind is changing, so you know, you'll be standing there and all of a sudden you'll get all of this, this moisture hit you. So I think the answer is to go in really tight uh, or go really wide. The sun's been up for about an hour and a half now, and I'm surprised that there's still not a lot of people around, but I think that's going to change in a couple of hours. It's middle of July on a Sunday, height of tourist season, so this place is going to be packed, I'm pretty sure. But it's very nice having the place to yourself, pretty much to yourself, and being able to move around and find spots without much, uh, much problem. Well, this is the first vlog I've made in a public place where there are actually people around. And I just figured, ah, just ignore them. But literally within the first 
30 seconds of starting to film here, this guy comes up to me and says, are you famous? I, I, I said, I don't think so. <laughs> so let's talk about photographing in Niagara Falls. Definitely, definitely get here early. You've got the place to yourself, pretty much. A few other photographers, but nobody's in your way uh, and you can just do your thing. It's great. The sun's been up for a couple of hours and already it's way too bright to do any more photography. So I think it's time to do some scouting around and check out Niagara Falls. So let's go take a look. So if you were thinking I was mad earlier on, arriving here at 5.30, um, I think you can see I wasn't mad. <laughs> You've got to be mad to arrive here in the middle of the day and try and do any photography. There is literally no room at the, the side of the falls to, to view it. If you've got a decent camera and a tripod and you want to take some, some good photos, you can forget it. Take a look at this. I don't think I'm going to stay. I've got a feeling that the viewing tower and, uh, well, the whole area is going to be packed tonight at sunset. Um, most people don't want to get up at 3 or 4 in the morning, but they're quite happy to stay out until sort of 8.30, 9, 9.30 at night. Niagara Falls is great if you've got kids, but I don't have kids. But I do like wine and beer. So I'm going to go to Niagara-on-the-Lake which is a wine region which now has some good breweries as well, so I hear. So I'm going to go and explore there for a few hours and um, yeah, if I'm, going to, if I'm going to get a sunset here, it's going to have to be off season I think when there's uh, not so many people. I made it to Ontario's wine region and this this area is massive. The situation now is I'm going to spend a few hours scouting around, but it's early afternoon. Sun doesn't go down for another six or seven hours. It's really bright and it's uh, high 30s, low 40s temperature wise. It's just insanely hot, insanely bright. Ain't no photography going to be happening, guys. Nothing today. There's some vines though. The grapes are growing. I think I'm going to come back and do a whole vlog just on, just on this wine region. It's, it looks pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of wineries, there's some breweries. Yeah, we'll be back. So that ends the vlog for Niagara Falls. Now you know when you come here, get here early, avoid the crowds, you'll get the shots, you've got your tips, you're all set. See ya. Oh, 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 oh,